Hello there, BMW fans. Uh, today we're going to talk about removing a fuel injector from your S63, S63TU, and N63, N63TU engines. So, there are actually a few ways to do this, but there is one way that is recommended by BMW using uh, a specialty tool that they have created. And yes, I realize it is expensive. Uh, you can, though, buy a set of tools from Amazon that is very similar, uh, and it'll do, it'll, it operates in pretty much the same fashion. All right, <clears throat> so how does the fuel injector on a BMW S63 engine look like? Fuel injector looks something like this. Um, so, as you can see, this is where the fuel line connects, right here. It's a threaded tip. And the fuel injector goes all the way through the valve cover to the um, um, combustion chamber. These few, these injectors sometimes get stuck. So generally speaking, you could pull them out and they'll just come out. But sometimes they get stuck, uh, you know, with heat. As you can see, this one has its ring damaged. And it has some oil on it too. That's a different story. Or a story for another day. But to pull those out, you're going to have to use a tool... Um, a puller, if you will, that BMW recommends. And here is that tool, or at least this is a, um, a version of that tool made by DP Tools uh, on Amazon, that I purchased on Amazon. All right, so this tool, the usage of it is pretty simple. Uh, really, all you need to do is you will install this tool. First of all, you need to orient uh, you need to orient this part or this part such that the hole, this this bolt right here, would align with the hole holding the that was set previously to hold the fuel line. All right, and you're going to orient it such as this long bolt will go into the hole that was holding the uh, fuel injector bracket. Keep these in place. These are spacers. So do not remove those. These are really important. You don't want to strip the threads uh, inside your engine. All right. The other thing is you have these big nuts right here. And these nuts are actually lefty tighty, righty loosey. So they're they're the opposite of your the traditional um, uh, tighten, loosen um, direction. Uh, these will sit on top of the fuel injectors, two fuel injectors in a single bank. And the idea is that you will turn this to the right to remove this entire bolt. First, take that out. As you can see, it's threaded inside. This particular part will sit on top of the fuel injector in the engine and and as you turn, not this nut, not the silt, not the uh, brass nut, but the top, as you turn this, it will, as you can see, make contact with the fuel injector. And then later on, we're going to turn this right, and that will pull uh, upward, effectively praying the fuel injector outside of the engine. Okay, I'm going to show how it's done. Uh, to additional tools that you will need are you will need a 24 millimeter um, a wrench and you will also need a 17 millimeter wrench if you have a 17 millimeter if you have a 24 millimeter ratchet they'll be perfect i don't have one so i'm gonna have to use this and um I believe this is it. If you do find the need to change the orientation of these two brackets in order for this bolt to align with the fuel line, um, fuel line bolt's position, then you're gonna use some Allen wrenches to remove this bracket and this bracket, exchange their positions. Just make sure that when you place the tool, that this lands straight into the, uh, into the, the threads of the uh, fuel line um, fuel line bolt. Okay. Sometimes I notice people put the, you know, don't adjust, don't replace this and you end up with the bolt, you know, sticking with an angle like this or like that. 
and that could be a problem. All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and get working. All right, so as you can see, we have two fuel injectors right here. I have caps on them to, to reduce contamination. I'm going to install the tool right here. This is where the fuel injector bracket bolt was. One of the bolts of our tool is gonna to go here. And this right here is where the fuel, fuel line bolt was. One of the, um, the other bolts is gonna to, to go right here. And our two big 24 millimeter uh, nuts are gonna align on top of these two fuel injectors. We're gonna use a 17 millimeter wrench to basically uh, attach them to the tip of the fuel injectors. And then we are going to remove the 24 millimeter bolt or we're gonna untighten it, effectively pull in these fuel injectors out. So let's, let's get going. All right, here we go. First of all, we need to make sure that our tool is aligned in such a way that this bolt, the, uh, the one that's intended to, uh, to attach to the previously fuel, uh, fuel line bolt is aligned. As you can see, it is not aligned. So what I'm going to do, I'm use my Allen wrench, remove this bracket, remove this bracket, swap them out, and then make sure that this sits right on top of this bolt when I, when I align the tool this way, all right? Okay, so as you can see, this is the proper orientation. I'm gonna take this out of the way. Um, it did take a little bit of playing around and fiddling, but you see that C-clamp turned to the right. And this orientation, by the way, is applicable to this right, this, this bank, right? So when you try to remove the injectors on the left bank, it's gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna to have to move this uh, and align it properly. All right, so I have my 10 millimeter a bolt and I have my 13 millimeter bolt right there aligned. We're gonna go ahead now and uh, place the 24 millimeter bolts and align them on top of the fuel injectors. It's gonna be a double-sided activity. So as you put this and turn it left in order for it to go in, right? You want to make sure that it sits exactly on top of your full injector. I have to like push the fuel injector a little bit upward just to align it. Here we go, made contact with this one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this bolt to the left side. A important instruction the BMW provides is, as we attempt to remove the fuel injector, we need to ensure that we don't need to use more than 13 newton meter, meters of torque to do so. If we do need more than 13 newton meters of torque, BMW recommends that we replace the fuel injector. So I'm not sure what's, what's the status here, but I'm guessing we're gonna have to replace the fuel injectors on my end. Um, okay, so now that I've, um, I've tightened the, these brass bolts, I'm gonna have to turn the 17 millimeter, these pieces, to the right in order for them to start making contact with the threads of the fuel injector. And hey, okay, made some initial contact. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten it up a little bit using both our 27 and 17 millimeters. Again, there's no need to tighten it too much. I just want the threads to go as in as possible. As you can see, I'm gonna have to rotate the brass bolt uh, counterclockwise should be easy to do here, while rotating the 17 millimeter clockwise in order for it to continue to make contact with the, um, with the fuel injector, all right? That way, that's going this way. And we keep doing that until we have a really good, uh, you know, placement. Also, don't tighten this, the fuel injector to the right all the way and ignore the left hand. It's gonna be kind of a, Alternating activity. All right, just that one and this one. Easy peasy. I'm checking the contact on both fuel injectors. Some resistance. Go back to this side. Same thing. A little bit 
left. And turn this to the right. My fuel injector to the right has almost full contact at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this one is good. So much. BMW does recommend to apply some oil to the threads of your brass bolt. So do use WD-40 for that. Very nice, this is going really, really smoothly. All right, and I think we made some pretty good contact here. Really good contact, really good contact. Alrighty, so with that being said, I think we are ready to initiate the process of removal. Let's just better our contact here. All right, awesome. Removal now is um, easy. What we're going to do is I'm going to put this here, ensure this doesn't move, and then instead of turning this uh, left side to tighten it, I'm gonna turn it right side to pray it out and they'll end up pulling the fuel injector outside of the bag. And this is how we're going to do this. All right, so I have my torque wrench right here, just the 15 newton meters of torque. That is equal to 9.6, I think, pounds of torque. Um, with regard respect to torque, it's a little tricky. I need to ensure that my um, my torque wrench is parallel to my socket. In other words, in order for me to get an accurate measurement, this needs to fit exactly like this cannot be cannot be like that okay here goes I'm going to go ahead and install this right here and I'm going to there here goes nothing Right, the bad thing is I'm gonna have to remove, whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wrench every time. And, yep, just have to re redo this every time. A little annoying, but. doing this I can see the injector turn oh and it popped out so I think we're good I don't need to do any more let's go ahead to the other one and I don't think I even need it I, I don't think I reached 13 newton meters so I don't need to replace this injector. Oh, I'm gonna have to adjust this a little. There we go. This one feels very loose at this point, so I don't think I'm gonna exceed the torque requirements. I can even pull it out with my hands. Uh, not so much one to the left. Let's 
go ahead and try to help this one. I think it's loose enough though that I don't, I don't think it will ever pass the 13 newton meters. manually now yep we can all right they're both loose so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the 13 millimeter torque and the uh, loosen the 13 millimeter sorry uh, bolt and and the 10 millimeter bolt right here now let's take this thing out okay loosen those get this one out that's out All right, so with these two out, as I pull the entire tool, you should see, yay, your two fuel injectors, awesome. And of course, installation is in reverse order. Uh, have you noticed anything by the way, my fuel injectors? Oil, right? I'm working on replacing the valve cover gasket. It seems like the previous owner or mechanic did a really poor job installing valve cover gasket and there is oil leaking all the way into the combustion chamber, causing some blue smoke. The reason I know is the valve cover gasket is because when I re removed the bolts of the valve cover itself, they were extremely, I could remove them by hand. They were just not torqued at all. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, drop them in the, in the comments.